Hello lovely, I'm here today with the Kuan Yin Oracle and I chose this because the other day I did a reading and I was going to use this deck and I was like, no, I don't think anyone's going to want to see this today and I just put it to the side, that was my thought. And then I used the Goddess Guidance Oracle cards and when I went to put them away after I cleared them, this was the card on the bottom of the deck. Kuan Yin, compassion. And it said, release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. So I don't know why I felt like that was, I didn't think I was being discompassionate. Is that the right word? But I'm going to go ahead and do a reading here. I'm going to pull a card and we're going to read what the guidebook has to say. Because I do think that something's up with the divine masculine. I have a, a feeling that there's something that they've been avoiding and there, it creates delays when they do that. It always does. But this is, I don't know. I'm confused about it because I don't understand why they're doing it now. But I'm going to go ahead and bless and shuffle so that we can find out what's next. Okay. If you know your divine masculine well, do they just have an avoidant personality in general? Or is there something you kind of know? No, they're probably avoiding this. Okay. What is the overall energy? Okay. Okay, there's a lot already coming through. The dynasty of the Divine Mother, and please listen. Now, when I see this, I think about the Divine Mother in terms of the Maiden, the Mother, and the Crone, the three archetypes of the Divine Feminine. And then I hear, please listen. And I think what this is saying is the Divine Masculine heard something from you. There was something maybe you tried to help them with, and they took it in a smothering, hovering, mothering type of way. And I think what this is saying is whatever you said then, they may need your help with now. Okay, so maybe this isn't just them having an avoidant personality and actually avoiding something. They may be avoiding you because they think they're going to have to ask you to listen and hold on let me think of something do we go here or do we go here because i do think there's this is this is connected to something we need a clarifier because we're missing i'm gonna go here okay that's what ugh, that was the message the other day then i use this i need you that was the point okay so this is this is carrying on with the message from before see i don't know why i thought this was something they were avoiding in their own life not something that they were avoiding about you Divine mother. But it was something you gave them advice about, so maybe it still is. And now they're avoiding you because maybe what you said came true. But that's not a clarifier for that. That's really more for this. The amaryllis loot. Amaryllis? Amaryllis? I wonder what the heck that is. Does anybody know what that means? No, it's not. 34. 33. Okay. Oh, this is right. Be this was the message the other day, wasn't it? When I used this and it was really powerful. That's what made me think to pull this out was a client mentioned that it was really powerful for them. And then I was like, no, you're pulling this out because that's why I said no one would really want to watch this or look at this because it was like, you're pulling this out because one person mentioned it. And it was like, was that really what was happening? Or did I just feel drawn to the cards? That's probably why it was like, you need to release your judgments. You're supposed to be working here, not being in your freaking feelings. Okay. So this was the, the major message the last time we were here. This isn't the card I'm going to pull, but still, it's interesting. What in the world? You have won a victory, beloved, a victory over the past. And the lute is sounding through every cell of your being, heralding your your rising vibration as you leave far behind you once again. What in the world? In fact, the lute says you are growing fast and spiritually. 
you are outgrowing your life even more so when you're outgrowing your your old life even more so. Something you gave them advice about in a mothering way, or that they took it as a mothering way. So something that you probably what would that what what do we think about when we think about a smothering, hovering mother, um, un asked for what's that word <laughs> uninvited that's not the word but advice um uh, we think maybe of someone who's pushy or bossy same, same kind of thing maybe we think of someone who is um unnecessarily disapproving or something uh, no that's not but that's not helping with what the message could have been but i'm just thinking that it would have come across to me i was thinking nagging but that could also be a girlfriend or wife thing or maybe even husband thing I'm not sure right but still okay 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 Grace their old life you gave them advice but now the loot is sounding they need your advice they need you because they hear the Ooh, they can hear it because maybe they can hear you and last time this message was supposed to be from your higher self okay I see what's happening here so your higher self is speaking, look, you have won a victory, beloved, speaking to the divine masculine about something they are seeing. But for some reason, they can hear this victory call. They, they feel the urgency, but they don't see the victory. They don't see the victory. That's why they need the mother. They, the mother can help you see victory in anything. I don't know about you guys. None of us, all of us had good moms, but I knew good moms. And I knew what it was like to hear somebody know how to spend anything for, for good. Hold on. Please listen. What is it that we're missing? Tai Chi rising. Mr. Lightwork just said Tai Chi today. Oh, what the heck, nabbit? What was that number? 32. Oh, it was right. It's two steps before now. We are right. Now, this is the page this opened to right before I got here, and I didn't say it. Ten Sisters of Light. You are an advanced soul and have lived through many incarnations, shown your light through many different faces. Your soul has learned many different skills in past lives, developed abilities and talents. This lifetime is a culminating lifetime in the sense that your soul is drawing together potencies developed over many lifetimes into unified expression. Baby, I'm a snap for that. Y'all know me. What's up? This is wild. It is like a drawing. It is like drawing on the power of 10 sisters. This is not 10 sisters. This is the one. This is us. This is me. This is you. Whoo! It is like drawing on the power of 10 sisters or more into your current lifetime. Be prepared to grow and shine, beloved. I've been hearing that a lot. Shine bright. Shine bright. Not the shine bright like a diamond song, but still. It's a different song that you guys wouldn't know, but okay. Tai Chi rising. Your energy field is growing stronger with more spiritual being, spiritual electricity pulsing through your being. Take time to nourish your nervous system as it adjusts. The other day, in this, we got the message of purification for body and mind. Yo, what is happening? Be gentle with yourself as you adjust to increasing levels of spiritual potency, which gives more impact to your words. Oh, your words, actions, and thoughts. Please listen. Your words. Okay, Divine Feminine, this is from your DM's higher self. Higher self, knowing about lower self, not, not lower self, physical self. This is from lower self, physical self, knowing about higher self. Okay. Divine masculine's wires are crossed. Okay, okay, let's get the card. Oh my goodness. the card okay so divine masculine we're gonna read the book i hope you know what you're doing here what are you trying to say that's way too many um, whoop. thank you okay energy wise what is happening here we're getting this message Mother again. Ugh. I wish we were together right now. Mother of mercy. I'm telling you, they need this love. They're avoiding you because what they need from you might not necessarily be. They're supposed to come in like as a knight in shining armor, not the wounded little boy who needs their mommy. 
oh yeah, it's like you don't go to this goddess, you don't go to this beautiful, you know, powerful being who's just been kind of languishing in a way, but you know, just trying to catch a vibe, right? You don't go to that person talking about, um, hey, can you make me a juice box? And so there, well, actually some of you maybe would say, yes, I have problems, I have issues. Okay, I love you guys. So I wish we were together right now. Why? Because I need you. Mercy, grace, very similar meanings, still a little different. New mercies for the day under the grace of God. Y'all know what I'm saying there. Last time was divine. I wish we were together. How crazy. What did I say? Oh, oh, I must grab. No, I must. Oh, I just grabbed the whole stack. Look at this. Last time was divine. Immortal treasures. I thought that said immortal pleasures. And then we've got the shining lotus. I was trying to show y'all the lady languishing. And I was saying, what? You can't be a little boy going to this divine being talking and okay this is true so they know this they're fully aware these divine masculines i think feel like teenagers children little boys so little girls so okay all right okay i'm avoiding you because of this so what's the message what what do we need to get out of this so that we can help or be present be aware and sorry the main thing i needed to say from before is we probably need to keep our mouth shut with whatever happens Dang, I need a manicure. We need to keep our mouth closed. I'm seeing the divine feminine thinking that they need to be in the energy they were in before, which was probably like the worried or anxious mother. And maybe you weren't even in that energy again. But if you were in your divine mothering energy in a very good place, just trying to be helpful, that's not what they need now. Because it seems as if this stuff has already arrived and there's really nothing that can be done. But they need you. They... They're having trouble seeing how this all works together. So they need you there to just be the one that holds them. There's, there's, have you guys ever seen those shows like Married at First Sight or something where like the parents are there and the, if they get stood up or stood at the altar, left at the altar, the moms always know to just say a couple nice things. It's going to be okay. Mijo, everything's going to be fine. And then they pat their back and they just sit in silence with them. So this is what I think they need right now. They need to sit in silence with you. And I think that as much as many of us think they might want to come in for something physical, I don't, I don't think they're even there mentally. I think they're too messed up right now to be worried about that. But I will also say some of us as divine feminines, let's just say there's magic. There's just magic in being together in that way. So that's another thing too, is if they reject you there, don't worry, sit with them for a while. Maybe in the morning. I'm, I'm just saying, I think they just need some time, but it's not, that's not a, re a real rejection. See how they're feeling when their head is in the right space. <laughs> Funny say, way to say all these things. This reading, have you noticed? There's a lot of sexual ten underlying tension. I think that's kind of the issue. I'm avoiding you because I want you like crazy, but I really can't handle that right now. <gasps> the other day, there was a guy on TV who was having like, um, I think like fertility issues or something, or he thought he was, he wasn't actually, but he thought he was having fertility issues. And so when he went to go be with his partner that night, he couldn't perform. And, and so it was like, I'm just thinking about that right now. And I'm thinking they don't, maybe they don't want to make you feel even worse by getting that far into it. You know, you know how bad that is <laughs> when you get that, that far in, not when it's like, oh, I'm just not in the mood, but we're, we're, <laughs> You know, it's like shoving freaking pork into a sausage casing or something. All right, that doesn't sound right. So focus, Grace. All right. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Sound, sound the fierce flute. Oh, divine masculine. This feels a little bit, yes, like maybe some backsliding is happening. And they hear the call. They hear the divine call, the urgency. But, oh, they are scared. They are so scared. The alarm going off isn't making them feel, like, powerful. I don't know. When some warriors, they hear, they hear the alarm. It's like a fireman. He's like, oh, yeah, let's go put out that fire. We're going to save so many freaking lives today. Whereas some people... They hear an alarm and it's like trigger, froze, don't know what to do. You know, so there's something about this that says, 
I get where they need you. You knew what was going to happen all along. Maybe you probably have some answers here that can make them just make sense of it. Because again, they don't know what's going on here. Okay, Divine Masculine. Let's see what you got. Weird. Did it open? No. It opened to the shining lotus that we just saw. There are times when it makes sense to be discreet. Oh, listen to this. There are times when it makes sense to be discreet until you find your inner strength so that you feel empowered enough to share your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs without wavering, even in the face of challenge by another. Ah, they might not actually agree about everything. I'm just thinking. Okay. At other times, we benefit ourselves and others by taking a risk and allowing the inner lotus blossom of our true self to shine forth for all to behold. And there we go. Okay. Now, 29. I'm so inappropriate, y'all. Because I see... <laughs> Some of you are going to get it. And if you don't, don't even bother trying. Okay? Just be like, you dirty. <laughs> the shining lotus I already explained. Okay? But then we've also got the star blossom. <laughs> Sorry, this is supposed to be serious. <clears throat> morning wood you know what I mean all right sound the fierce flute discernment empowers you to make choices that are aligned with your spiritual intentions discernment empowers you to make choices that are aligned with your spiritual intentions they don't know what they're doing they hear the call they're lacking discernment and guess freaking what Okay, Grace, you got to stop closing books and throwing stuff. You're scaring people. Okay, sorry for the jump scare. Listen, the other day in the reading that led to this whole chain of events that's been happening in our readings for weeks now, that day we saw, which someone actually pointed out, and since they said A, B, C, D, I think I can name the cards. It was like awakening, beauty, choice. Remember that that reading you said, I have a choice or you, it's your choice? Something like that, right? And then D was what? Discernment. That reading was all about them needing you because they are lacking the discernment they needed to go forward in their new season. And now we come here and they're calling you again. Bro, I don't know what to do because I can't tell if I'm supposed to tell you, you need to call them. You need to reach out to them. You need to email them. But some of you have been doing that already. Some of you have been told not to. I don't know what to tell you. I, I'm, this is crazy. I'm going to read the book because the book is what I knew. This is what I came here for is this one right here. I'm going to read the whole thing. Let's start over again. Let's think about what this is saying. Discernment empowers you to make choices that are aligned with your spiritual intentions. Like a fierce sounding flute cutting through all vibrations with purity and intent your discernment allows you to stay true to your values and spiritual destiny without getting caught up in distraction. If you wish to grow spiritually through love, joy, peace, and abundance, then discerning between higher and lower vibration choices, wow, higher and lower vibrational choices is helpful. I didn't want to say lower earlier. But you know what? Right now, the divine masculine's lower self has been in low, a lower vibration for so long, I don't think they realize it. I don't think they can discern the difference yet. I don't think they understand vibrations yet. Oh man, okay. This is what we need to be able to help somehow, somehow articulate to the divine masculine, okay? So you might need to like rewind this little part again just to like be like, what is this really, what am I getting out of this? Okay. It is wise to be accepting of all of life and not to judge people or situations as good or bad. Some are more pleasant than others, and yet sometimes a challenge can turn out to bring us great growth and opportunity, which in turn becomes a blessing. However, this does not mean that we are wise to abandon the power of choice. You've got to be kidding me. The book of changes, the power of choice, y'all. Okay, okay, okay. This does not mean that we are wise to abandon the power of choice. 
we can use our discernment to be guided on our path to the most joyful, uplifting, and helpful experiences for our soul growth. This is absolutely true. I used to think that I had to go through bad stuff. And then about five years ago, I said, you know, God, if there's any way, and this was my prayer with, and it still is like, if there's any way for me to go through this day or this experience or this, this, or this, or this with the best way possible, no need for me to learn hard lessons and all, you know, all that kind of stuff. Like if there's any way for me to just be able to go through and have the most beautiful, wonderful experience and just enjoy you and everything you've created, I really gratefully thank you and appreciate you for it. And it just keeps happening. And my trauma has me still thinking uh, where the other shoe is going to drop all the time and I still have to fight it off. So this is very true. We can use our discernment to be guided on our path towards those most joyful, uplifting and helpful experiences for our soul growth. It doesn't have to ne necessarily be awful, demoralizing and pointless because that's for some reason what a lot of people feel or have even been told that the, the twin flame journey is just a roller coaster of no that is n it is not a roller coaster of bs don't let them lie to you anymore you can have a better journey it was when i chose to have a better journey that i ended up in union like a few months later so and and guess what all of my clients who choose that unless their dm is just like like we got people who have dms in jail or in really fucked up marriage situations like there's a, a few things but otherwise unless these dms are just totally have dug themselves deep and they're kind of screwed right now i've watched people finally turn towards their light work or their purpose or whatever or just believing that things can get better and reunion came shortly after it just happens so if you don't believe that how can you articulate that to your divine masculine about good things happening for them when the only good thing you really want to see in your life won't happen and you are starting to lose hope or beginning to question things so this is really saying you've got to get sure about who you are and what reunion is and where your DM is and who they are in your life as much as anything you can say to them. Whew, deep. Discernment is not judgment. It does not render some things better or worse than others. It is the power of selection based on desire or intention. If we intend to grow through joy and adventure rather than fear or suffering, then we can use our discernment to make choices that feel expansive and uplifting rather than constrictive or draining. Again, 100% true. Discernment is necessary in all realms of life, from the physical to the spiritual. From the sort of lifestyle we choose to lead, to the people we choose to spend time with, or the ways we spend most of our time, even the kinds of spiritual ener energies that we invoke, discerning choices help us craft our reality. A wise use of discernment helps us to be truthful, clear, and accurate in our perception. Like the fierce flute cutting through all vibrations. Oh, what did I say? They don't even know what a vibration is. They don't even know they're in a low vibe. That's okay though, because the fierce flute that's sounding, it's breaking up their whole vibe. Their whole world is shattering around them. The other day, there was this reading I showed where there was a reflection of a swan looking at the reflection and the DM was like seeing the DF in that reflection. And then they realized that they were the reflection. They were the chaotic, shaky version. Y'all, I, I don't even know if I was able to articulate that in the reading. There's stuff that I can't even say when I'm doing these downloads because they just pop, pop, pop. But y'all, this is amazing. It's cutting through, it's crumbling everything, and it is shifting their whole paradigm right now. Okay, great, let's keep going. Like the fierce flute cutting through all vibrations, discernment shatters illusions and gets to the truth of the matter right to the essence. With truth, there are no nasty surprises later, or if there are, we can deal with them swiftly and use them for growth with minimal suffering. We can ascertain what is real and what is false. This inner knowing informs our choices so that we seek out those people, places, opportunities, and experience, experiences that feel aligned with love. Then our, our life path becomes one of greater joy and well-being, bro. If you got a comment from me on the video that said the choice or, um, yeah, the choice is yours that said, may your DM choose love. Did you just hear what I read? Did you, I felt led to leave that comment. I don't, when I say stuff here, most of the time you guys know, I don't really comment back. I don't usually have a lot of time to do that. 
but I've been trying to be more engaging lately. And so I just kind of left some comments in the last few videos. And when people said I chew, it's, or, what is, I can't even I keep losing it. I just remember responding to them, may your DM choose love. If you remember that, like maybe raise your hand or something. It says, this inner knowing informs our choices so that we seek out those people, places, opportunities, and experiences that feel aligned with love. I said, may your DM choose love, meaning they're looking in every situation, every person, opportunity, experience for love. That's not what they used to look for, guys. They used to look, f I don't even think they, they were looking for anything, and so they just saw chaos. But now they look through things. It's like, an, it's like observing your thoughts, right? And letting them go through you rather than absorbing them. They look through things and all they look for is their love in there. Ooh. Okay. Whew. Then our life path becomes one of greater joy and well-being. Your discerning powers are growing and you are capable of the greatest discernment when you listen to your heart and are able to let go of fear and shame, which can cloud your perception. This has come to you because you are in need. <laughs> oh no, it's last time was defined. Do you remember, remember, remember I said it? <laughs> I need you. This oracle has come to you because you are in need of seeing a situation in your life from your heart rather than from appearances. Don't be afraid to trust your own vision, beloved. It will, it will help you to live your truths and take good care of your own soul. Y'all, wait a minute. What was the card? Oh, man, I don't remember the card, though. Oh, it's here. It's here. What, what, what did I just read? See, rather than appearances. Wasn't this it? Oh no, guys, I don't remember now. Oh man, now I can't find it. I don't remember what I read, but I said something like that. Oh, you know, no, I don't know where it is. I read something and it was, it's, and it was such a weird thing. It was like, it doesn't matter how it appears divine feminine. It was such a clear message. No, I'm kind of like, Ugh. okay, 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 okay. Don't be afraid to trust your own vision. It will help you live your truths and take good care of your own soul. I think this is what you need to say to them. This whole paragraph, this right here, you need to say this in your own words. I hope I'm showing the right one. <laughs> that. That whole paragraph is it, okay? Wow. Wow. All right, I'm going to leave the... If anybody is willing to type this up in the comments, thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna leave this little exercise. And I think I think Jenny and maybe even one other person, thank you so much for typing this up last time. I really appreciate that. I know it's helpful for some people. Okay, I'm gonna get going. This was this was supposed to be a one card reading. Like, what in the world is going on here? This is so deep. And I just hope that you understand what your divine masculine needs when they come in, when they finally stop avoiding you and ask this question. Now you know. Now you know where maybe divine put it in them to avoid you until you saw this message. So then when they hit you up, oh, and if you're getting hit up in the middle of my readings, please continue to say that because it's like my favorite thing. Probably my favorite thing in the entire world is when I'm on a call with someone that's I love it when someone comments it but I love when I'm on a call with someone and they're like ah! and I'm like what is happening they're like they hit me up it's been two years it's been this and I'm like what is going on here? so please that that is like for me it is the equivalent this is going to sound really crazy but I have my um, my love language is gifts and when I give out a homeless bag because I've had a homeless ministry since like 2006 2007 2007 I think um whenever I give out a homeless bag and I see them like rip open the freaking sandwich and they take a bite and they're like oh yeah it's so good and i can kind of see them like yum, 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 yum. i'm like because i like sneak and look back if i'm because i don't like sit and stare but i like be parked in the car at the not parked but sitting in the, the turning lane or something and i'll be like staring what the what the what 
the? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can even hear me. Oh no, we messed up. Okay, but anyways. I'll be, I, what I was saying is I would be sneaking a look at them in the turn lane before the light turned green and then I would start to cry because I would see them. And I get the same feeling of just like overwhelming freaking excitement and joy whenever I see a client or hear a client say that in the comments. But again, when it's on the phone, oh, it is priceless. It is so freaking priceless. So please keep telling me that stuff because it just makes my day. All right. I love you guys. I'm going to get out of here. Um, don't forget I have a huge sale like 44 percent off like you can talk to me on the phone for 30 dollars. you can get a reading from me about your dm or you can get like there's packages available there's so much stuff there's coaching um if you've been looking for long-term coaching from me i have reopened it so just shout out to anybody who's been requesting it i thank you for the motivation for the past two years because i really wasn't going to do anything with it again and i'm really excited with what, what i came up with so if you're interested in reunion coaching divine masculine coaching, anything like that. Or if you're interested in personal coaching, like, you know, building your business or, you know, maybe attacking some mental health issues or not issues, but more like, um, specifically, I wouldn't say even mental health, more like mindfulness, but from a mental health standpoint. Yeah. So if you're interested in stuff like that, please, I would love to help you. You can check out all that stuff on my website. And otherwise, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Do not forget to like the video every time you visit our channel. And if you leave your comment signature in the comments below, you will have a chance to win a free reading at the end of the month. If you made it all the way to the end, I want you to leave something musical, something musical or something that makes an alarm in the comment section below. Okay. I love you. I think that's everything. I got to go.